the big talking point as always will be that controversial dismissal of Daryl Mitchell. That's the time the slide really started for New Zealand and uh, umpiring comes into focus at times when you don't want it to but in this case it was the third umpire upstairs who was more in focus than the on-field umpires. It looked like a fairly routine LBW given by the on-field umpire. It was talked about a lot in Crick Buzz Combox but just to take it forward a little bit we've had a little more time to think about it and I think it's the whole protocol issue that's coming into the picture. Is it yeah. about going back to the on-field umpire because he is the all-pervading like a soft signal when you have an, a fielding issue? Is that I think the first thing we need to do is take emotion out and take your sides out. Don't see whether it's a New Zealand batsman who's got out or an India batsman who's got out because very often our conclusion on whether a player is out or not out is coloured by which side we are supporting. And so, if an Indian batsman gets out, we tend to say it's not out. If a New Zealand batsman gets out, we tend to say it's out. So, or Saurashtra Karnataka. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, but, so first you need to take those out. And then look at it objectively. So, if you looked only on hotspot, you'd say out straight away. Wasn't there one angle? There was one angle that suggested that a there deviation. was a little deviation. Now, imagine you are the third umpire. Like the law is an ass sometimes because you have to follow the law exactly as it is stated which is why Jason Holder has got to miss out the third test. It looks very silly but that is the law, there's nothing you can do about it. Now if according to the law the umpire says look one, one means of redressal, one tool is showing not out, one tool is showing out. Now what do I do? Do I say no, no, hotspot is correct, Snicko is wrong and overturn or as Zach said in Krigbus Combox there has to be conclusive evidence yeah. to overturn. If one tool is saying out, one tool is not out, maybe saying it's not, it's, it's not conclusive. And that I think is a conclusive evidence is what we talk about even when it's a fielding issue about a, about a close catch. If the soft signal is out, then you have to have conclusive evidence to show that it indeed hit the yeah. ground. If you don't, it stays out. Same with the other way around. I think the, the soft signal, you know, that's, that's something which is very important. And in this case, the, the batsman was given out. So you've got to have a conclusive uh, evidence against uh, the uh, the decision to to uh, uh, to change yeah, to the decision, it, yeah. you know. So 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 that's something which is uh, which is very important. And if so, I was uh, debating the same point. Like you know, if if, if the uh, on-field umpire had given it not out, an Indian team would have reviewed this decision. It would have stayed not out. And that's that's the logical uh, call which which everyone needs to make uh, peace with. Yes, in today's scenario, it was a New Zealand batsman who was given out hard done. But uh, but Indian bowlers also would have felt uh, hard done if the decision was not out and if if, if, if they had reviewed it because uh, the Snicko was uh, saying there was no edge and uh, the hotspot was 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 saying there was uh, that there was definitely uh, some some part of the of the of the, uh, of the bat uh, been uh, been nicked so so that's something which which you have to live with uh, with yeah. with the whole system you know so at at times earlier. You, when there was no DRS system, you would uh, complain about the umpiring decisions being wrong. But even if uh, there are uh, uh, review systems in, in place, the the debate and the bigger and, uh, and the larger debate has been this, that you know, when there is a review system in place, why are we still facing these kind of scenarios yeah. and situations? But just, conclude, there's just one thing to finish it off, which is that hotspot has been wrong many times. Sir. Especially when, when it's too bright, when the evening sun is coming down, when the rays are coming down. It, that happens when it doesn't pick it up. Also, but stump the, the Snicko can also be wrong, as we saw with Hanuma Vihari. Case. Wrong sound. Yeah, as we saw in the Hanuma Vihari case in Sydney, Snicko was wrong because uh, I mean Snicko wasn't wrong. The interpretation was wrong because his foot had moved. The ball was well over. So the third umpire has got to look into all this. And as Hemant Bhutch, who directs a lot, responded to one of my tweets, the the volume is turned up for the umpire as well. So the umpire also has the actual real time sound as the ball is passing the bat. So the umpire had enough to play with that was a considered uh, uh, judgment. And the, the, the only thing with uh, with uh, this call uh, was was that I felt the third umpire was rushed. I think he didn't take enough time to to make his decision. You know, he he had the luxury of of using, especially when when uh, when one uh, uh, one decision was when one uh, one suggestive system was 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 supporting uh, the, the dismissal in uh, in in reversal uh, mode, and then one was was not. You know, in in this case, you have to take your time to to find if 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 there is there is more evidence uh, at your, uh, your your pursual to 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 make a call. You know, you you had one uh, uh, snicker going against uh, snicker going uh, 
against and and hotspot uh, going for uh, the edge you know so so maybe he could have lift, looked at some other angles you know maybe he would have asked uh, the 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 broadcaster for for more footage you know to 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 drive that conclusive Try to see uh, the deviation evidence because the the snico also the the part which was taken you know the it, the bat might have brushed the the pad as well to suggest yeah. that that a hot, hot, hot spot, spot. Uh, because it's, it's just a technology which uh, which can be tampered in in a in a very uh, game time scenario not uh, not literally but uh, if the bat has brushed the pad and, and that spot was there in exact same spot it might be suggesting that the uh, the, the ball has nicked the bat but the actual case was not i think it's also in, in, also a very peculiar situation sometimes where the people in the control room and we've all been in television control rooms actually know whether it's out or not out but they cannot tell the third umpire that so the, uh, in the hanuma vihari that. case for example everybody in the control room knew that vihari was not out but they could not tell the third umpire look here is evidence to suggest that it is not out because they cannot offer things to the third umpire the third umpire has to ask for it so zack's point the third umpire could have asked for more in which case maybe they would have offered a little bit more but in this case i think he just had to be uh, absolutely convinced needed overwhelming proof and he didn't have it yeah i think in conclusion we can just say one thing it was yes the third umpire needs to be taking more time about it but the real reason drs is there is an a tool for the two on field umpires to eliminate howlers and hence if there's a situation where there's a conflict it means doubt and doubt goes back to the on field yeah, umpires but when technology gets it wrong you tend to talk about it much more than when the eyes get eyes or ears get it wrong